Ooh, yummy. <laughs> hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. We got Vlogmas Day 7 ahead of us. I've already seen a ton of tweets of people telling me, she talked about you, she apologized to you. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what this all is. It's been a pretty eventful Vlogmas, I might say. I think there's been a lot of new subs and stuff like that. A lot of new people not familiar with the Amberverse that are, you know, it's very, it's always interesting for me to see when the cycle starts over to see all the newbies, I guess, that kind of like think that like this is going to be a long lasting thing. I personally don't think that this is anything new than everything we've already seen. But without further ado, let's get into this react. Hey guys, so welcome to Vlogmas. What up? Day seven. It's been day seven. The Vlogmas. You know, I will say this. I, I have seen a very a concerted effort for her to like actually try with her appearance, which is a, a positive, I would say. Um, it looks like she is keeping her hair clean. She's washing, I guess. It looks like, I don't know. I mean, I don't think she's probably not taking her makeup off at night because I don't think she's she does that. But I there it is nice to see her actually try. I will say that. Have you guys been liking it? I have a very mundane, have you been liking it? normal life. And I've been watching so many people's Vlogmas and I realized I'm not the only one. I was honestly really worried about doing Vlogmas for that reason. But I realized that even the biggest YouTubers live like I do. I mean, kind of. So I oh, I should say that I sped this up because, bitch, there's a Santa Claus marathon on right now. And we're trying to get to that. Also... I would really wish she would just stop comparing herself to everyone all the time. Like, just do you and like, this is people watch you, Amber, because this is what they want to see. So like, just do it. Like it, it stop comparing, stop, 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 stop making your behavior. Okay. Because you see other people do it, if that makes sense. And I know that this isn't um, much to do with like vlogmas or whatever, but like, if you want to have more a more exciting and eventful vlogmas, then actually go out and do things. You live in a state that is very has a lot of natural wonders to it. And there's a lot out there for you to do, but you have a very like narrow, like limited scope of like what you do and see. So it's like, I don't know, go to the park. That would be a really good vlogmas if you went to the park and like walked around for a little bit. Like and showed off like the amazing scenery. That would be a, a thing, maybe. I don't know. Since you watch. I don't feel as bad, but we're gonna do a little outfit of the day. Woo so this sweater is from Torrid, obviously. Why does Torrid sell so many horizontal striped things? Sleeve. I feel like they don't do Love anything that. for the body. You have to be like Here a skinny mini in order for horizontal stripes really to look like really good. I kind of match with the purple color, kind of. Um, those are from Walmart. I just have my hair in half up, half down situation you need to trim it a little bit though that's one thing i would like it would be so much healthier i'm sure you could tell by the sound of my voice because <laughs> you know i know so much about hair it's still sick still trying to get over it so yesterday i went live on instagram yeah you did girl you did go live and i just want to be the one right now to apologize i said some things on there that i probably shouldn't have direct you did you said a lot of things on there you shouldn't have girl please to you michael i have oh no okay this talk at all um i slept on it and i was like really because i know how it feels people constantly talking about your weight and i shouldn't have done that it was more like a bitter moment it's like having so many reaction channels constantly react to me i just i reacted in a negative way so it's not an apology this is what we would call a non-pology is when instead of apologizing and just leaving it at that you like try to like you try to justify your behavior or whatever. Listen, I don't, Amber, if you're watching this, I don't need an apology from you. I said this in my live stream yesterday. What you said was whatever. It's not even that big of a deal. I've, I've been called way worse, like, in my life. Um, being told that I'm fat or whatever is something that I've heard since I was, like, 12 years old. Like, it's not that big of a deal to me anymore. I've relinquished that power. Like, that power is gone. Um... I don't care enough about what you about you to care about what you said about me. So I think that that is more I think that's more of like where I'm coming from with this is like, yeah, she said it, whatever I would. And I've said it in my live stream. I don't expect her or the other people I talk about to not be upset with me or to not like have like throw some shade my way like it's whatever like read girl like if you feel like you need to read then read read me for filth if that's what you think but 
I don't need an apology from you. And honestly, I think there's other people that you talked about in that live stream that deserve more of an apology. And I, I think this is kind of her way of copping out of really taking any kind of ownership or accountability for anything. Because she was like, well, of all the things that I've talked about, let me talk about the thing that's the most lesser of evils. Maybe this will get people off my back. So I'm gonna apologize to Michael for saying he looked like he gained weight. Like, and that, really that's all she said, so. And Let's keep it going. I shouldn't have done that. There's no excuse for it, but I do want to apologize because it's like I'm not that person. And you are that person. Videos on videos on videos of you on CXNT and those live streams prove that you are that person. I should just not go live because I get yep. so overwhelmed. I agree. Anxiety that I say things I shouldn't. That's actually something I'm working on. That if I'm ever put in an anxiety situation or a situation that overwhelms me, I need to learn how to react better because it's like. I have no filter when that happens. See what I mean? Like, she, it, this is a non-apology. Like, she's blaming things for why she acts the way she acts. You are that person. You are your anxiety. You, like, if that's the, if that is the T, the T is that you have anxiety and therefore it makes you become a scummy person. The anxiety and you are not two separate things. You are the same thing. You are the same entity. Like, it, your anxiety is your person. So, like, this idea that, like, you can scapegoat your behavior because of some kind of because of a mental illness, it's not okay. You did that. You said that. You you know what I'm saying? You went after Amy Slayton. You went after Casey again. You you didn't said all of those things. You talked about the go the go scam me and you didn't have any accountability for it. Where is what does your anxiety have to do with any of that stuff? Like you were willing, like you were so upset that people were calling out your your bad behavior that you were going to quote unquote expose someone like you you made the implication that you had some kind of receipt and that you were going to like let people know that what what you said was okay so like what does your anxiety have to do with that like that to me implies forethought that to me that's premeditation almost like you you're holding on to something to blackmail someone like Ma'am, I don't think so. And like, I really do apologize, like from the bottom of my heart. I know a lot of reaction channels disagree with the way that I live my life and who I am. True tea. <laughs> some of the reaction channels are very educational, <laughs> if you will, because they almost make me want to I feel like this is a very pageanty answer so or like a pageanty response. But yeah, I just wanted to apologize and I hope you can accept my apology. If you don't, that's fine. Um, I could definitely understand that, but I'm not that person. Like, honestly, I'm not going to sit there and judge you are that person, that though. That's so the thing. Like, you've done this, though. Like, you used to come for Amy Slayton so hard. You used to talk about seeing a big girl in the restaurants when you were four and eight, 500 pounds. Like, so the idea that, like, this, that is not who you are, that is who you are, and that is who you've been, and that is who you continue to be. Like, and I, I'll accept your apology. Fine, whatever. I accept your apology. I don't. You don't need to apologize to me because I don't really care that much. But like, girl, there's so much more that you've said and done in these four or five years you've been on this platform that deserve an explanation and a real one, not like this, but a real explanation as to why you you did and said what you did and how going forward you will try and to do better. But that's not happening. And I think that this is her way of copping out of really being held responsible for the things she says and does. Like, it's easy to come on here and apologize to me because it wasn't that big of a deal. So long. You know, I feel like people with weight problems should come together instead of like tearing each other apart. We do. We do come together. A lot of people that have weight issues and are, are struggling with their weight, we actually do come together. But we don't come on here and exploit our situations for money and then act like the victim all the time and then come on here and troll people with mukbang. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a that's a completely, like, you are in a whole other league, dog, because there is a giant, there's a huge community of people who have weight issues and they all come together and they're real about shit. You're never real. Like, you're, this is all it means to an end for you. I felt like that was just really rude of me, so I'm sorry. So I have no idea what I'm making right now, but I cut up a potato. More so food. So it's currently cooking on the stove. And I'm gonna do like a potato taco bowl. I really don't know. I had leftover lean 
I don't know why I said lean. I guess because it says it on the package. Lean. Um, Instead of using a potato, like, you should have used, like, a thing of spinach. Like, that would have been way better. Ground chicken with taco seasoning. Some onion. Use some jalapenos. Have ourselves some tapatio. Some cheese. So, I don't know how this is going to go, but I'll, I'll show you guys. Potatoes. This is so much better sped oh, up a little bit, right? Like, it's so much more watchable. It's one potato. It was a big one end. potato, two potato, three potato, four. I don't know. I'm gonna put the, the angles meat. are so bad. Like, didn't you get a tripod? Like, where's that tripod, girl? And then the cheese, which is he has to blend. I don't know about this cheese. What's the date say on it? It has a sour smell. Well, it's cheese. It's like mold. So, like, it's probably not going to smell that great. Hold on. I think we have more cheese. You're going to be fine, girl. Cheese is supposed to be smelly. I swear. We always buy cheese and we never finish it. <laughs> so. Then quit buying cheese every day. Because this, one. this one's. Like, why would you go out and buy a whole ass thing of cheese <laughs> if you had a thing of cheese that, like, that's weird. That's weird to me. It's weird to me. That's why oh, yeah. I need to stop going to they, Walmart every day. That cheese you used, I think, is old. It's fine, girl. That one smells good because it's fresh. It's cheese. Cheese smells bad. It smells bad, especially once it's older and you've already you've exposed it to the air by opening the package. You will be fine. Yeah, it has a sour smell. So I'm going to put cheese. And then I'm going to put it in a microwave. So it melts and then jalapenos yum i oh. hate pickled jalapenos. Oh, I jalapenos i like, I like jalapenos too but i hate pickled jalapeno i like fresh jalapenos spicy things as you guys can tell okay jalapenos are so good they're green what about I'm your spicy. heartburn and your stomach issues sure. and everything, though? Like, I thought the antibiotics are causing you to be nauseous, and you're just gonna pile on a shit ton of jalapenos and cheese and yikes! Like they should. <laughs> oh my god! Sounds painful. I need to sleep. Okay. You so, need to go to sleep. Onion. I thought we just woke up. What happened? All of this. I is thought we had just woken up. I like to show you guys some of the things I make, cause you know there are other people out there who have. A weird taste bud like me. <laughs> I can't believe I said that the other day. Uh, I kind of hate that, like, she's watching the React channels and stuff now or, like, going on Reddit and everything. Because, like, now she's, like, catching on to, like, the stuff that we say. And she's learning. Like, she's learning now. And it's like, fuck. Now it's not as funny anymore. Talk to you. Here we go. do see -si do I think it looks good. So we have an ongoing joke need some joke Greek in yogurt house. in that. That when someone says something that's like, how would you call that, babe? Like low key shade. Okay, I'll show you guys an example. So Becky does not like onion. She doesn't like jalapeno. She doesn't like hot sauce. <laughs> she got that Caucasian palate. <laughs> so I sat down with my glorious food and she goes, that looks disgusting. So when someone throws shade in this house, <laughs> we always say, that was a hate comment. It's just like that's kind that of funny. I'll give you that one, Amber. That's funny. I like that. That's funny, Amber. You made a joke. Surprise, surprise. I don't know how it happened or <laughs> like where it like started. I think I started to be honest. I should get merch that just like really cute, just in like cursive hate comment. You should have done the hello, it's ready merch. I mean, that would have you would have made a grip off of that. Oh my god. But you guys wouldn't understand that fully because you guys don't live with us. But honestly, it's pretty freaking funny. Um, oof, your girl is swollen today. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I wanted to do a taste test because I've never had this before. <laughs> Sometimes. If you've never had it before, then like, why are you telling people to make it? So just come up with shit. And you know? showing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Two jalapenos in that bite. Girl ain't mad about it. So I guess heartburn isn't a thing. Mm. I mean, how could you not like this? Oh, I you know. I could list the reasons. I'm sure I could list the reasons why. 
I love potatoes. I just boil them with some water. Um, you need to just use. I keep uh, adding water. Okay. It evaporates. Yep. Which is very simple to make. Because water has a lower boiling point than oil does. Mm. It's so good. It'd be fun. Um, I saw Eric film a video last night where he tried a subscriber's recipe. Look at Eric out here making content. Yes, Eric. I feel like that'd be super fun and I should do something like that. Because A, I don't follow recipes. B, we know. it would be kind of funny. Well, if you're going to do one, Amber, you can follow my recipe for the jambalaya I made. It's pretty healthy. Um, you could just use like low, you could use some like low sodium chicken broth in it since you're sodium sensitive. But I would implore you to make it, but you need to actually cut your vegetables up right. Otherwise, they're going to look weird. Mm. You should do that, though. You should, real talk, you should follow a, a subscriber's recipe because you are missing out. We don't need any of this. I really don't care. I don't care about any of this. Oh my, how long does this go on for? So we have a wreath on our door, gingerbread house and some other doodads, that cute little box. So these are actually like placemats for your table, but I thought it would be super cute to put on here with his candles. And Becky, Becky actually thought of putting the Christmas tree right here. And I was like, oh my God, that's so smart. And then over here, <laughs> this is my little wiener dog, my snowman. And we have stockings. Ricky put the small ones up and these two are mine. Mine is being held by reindeer. Over here, I just put this fella. Eric did some really cute pine cone decorations. So this is where it gets into the goods. So I did a lot. Like, Do y'all remember when they put that elf on top of Eric's mom's picture and Eric was just like, why would they put that there? <laughs> I went all out, really. Um, I set all this up. Super cute. Great. This is Eric's. So this is Becky's cute creation. I seriously- That's the- Dude. What? Becky- what the fuck, Becky? It looks awful. <laughs> Becky, you could have done... It's not even even. The, like, the arches are, like, all whatever. She didn't even la wrap the lights well enough either. It's all loose and coming apart. Becky. You just threw that up there haphazard. I actually love it so much. And then over here, I did this. A little winter wonderland moment. Oh, my earrings. Don't mind that. This is Eric's little candle. It went perfect with the winter wonderland theme. Oh, I hate those kinds of like that stucco glitter shit. It gets everywhere. And to make it look like snow, these are actually ornaments and there's three in there. So I had this garland and I was like, oh my God, what are we going to do with it? And then I was like, oh my God, we should put it around this. So Eric put it on here for me. So I thought. Is the garland just being hung up with like thumbtacks? Is that why it's falling down? Oh, it looks super cute. Why did Eric have, have to put it up? Glittery reindeer here. So I was looking at the mirror and I was like, what can we do on the mirror? Ooh, that mirror is soups unflattering. Destroy that mirror. If that mirror were in my house, it would have been, I would have gotten rid of it. My God, that mirror is doing no one any favors. And I had this extra garland, so I put two and two together. Look so at it. So I was like, it. Eric, oh my God, we should put the garland around the mirror. So he did that for me. And look at our table. It's so cute. This is the tablecloth that Becky chose. The centerpiece was actually made by her mom, which I bought from her. Okay, so it is time Well, at least she's actually out making a living now instead of begging for money from people. Of the day. You have to take into consideration how her weight is distributed. Her face and upper body will show signs of weight loss long before her legs and backside. It might take about 50 pounds or more before everyone starts to notice a significant difference. Someone my size 
it's definitely going to take a lot longer to notice weight loss. I recently read a comment where someone's like, at her size, you should notice her losing weight quicker. And I was like, what? I have a lot more weight to lose and I have a bigger body. So when I lose 100 pounds, it's going to look like maybe I've lost. I mean, I can I understand what she's saying, but like if you lose 50 pounds, even if you don't see it in your face, you'll see it in your clothes. Like you'll see it in other parts of your body or whatever. And like so far, I'm not seeing any of that. Like all of her stuff fits the same way it fits, and she's wearing the same clothes that she always wears because the clothes that she got that from tour, that she gets from tour that is too small for her to stay on that rack until they fucking turn into dust. So I don't. We're gonna have to wait and see. Fifty. Do you get what I'm saying? I think your food always looks delicious. Good to see you moving around. I can see a difference already in your size. Yay. I'm also on a weight loss journey. Watching you has been a lot of help. You're such an inspiration. Thank you so much, Jessica. Like, I appreciate that so much. Like, those two comments literally contradict themselves because it's like she's thanking this woman for, like, noticing that she's moving around and there's a difference in her size. And then the other comment was like, you won't see it. And da 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 da. And she's like, yeah, that's right. You won't see it. It's like, can we pick a fucking side? Like, real talk. Also... I think that Amberlynn has always been capable of moving around. She just chooses not to. Like, and I've said that, I've been saying that for a while now because she is 28 years old. And yes, I understand that she is almost 600 pounds. But guess what? When you're that young, you still have a, you still have the ability to move a little bit, even at that size. And she chose to just lay in bed or she chooses to use a scooter at Walmart. Those are all choices she makes. And if I can be an inspiration to you, that makes me... We don't... You don't need to be worried about inspiring no one other than you to not eat anymore. That's what it should be. Like, I just want to inspire people. And I wish you luck on your weight loss journey because I know exactly how hard it is. Like, an inspiration should be a byproduct of your weight loss. It shouldn't be the focus. The focus should be you trying to get your mind healthy, your body healthy, and your relationships healthy. And if you so happen to inspire people along the way, then so be it. But it shouldn't, the inspiration part shouldn't be the prime focus of why you're doing things. It's very hard to lose weight. It Chantel does the same shit. And I know you got it, girl. What is your Instagram? It's raritycat, R-A-R-I-T-Y-C-A-T. You can buy the Weight Watcher badge for 10 bucks on eBay. That'd be okay. so but I don't think she went and bought that thing. That's a lot. That's a lot of like actual forethought and dedication and follow through when we all know that those are three things that Amberlynn is does not she does not have that. You look like you actually gained even more weight. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> comments like this crack me up because it's so not true. Like, uh that's funny. How is she logging her weight without weighing herself? I weigh myself every single day, That's sometimes twice a day. Super weird. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Well, that was Vlogmas Day 7. She apologized to me. Like I said, don't need it. If you want me to accept it, I'll accept it. I don't. You didn't offend me, so it's cool. I think there are far more things. There's far more things that you have to answer to. In the scale of YouTube apologies, I would rank that just above Laura Lee. <laughs> she, there's just no, like, I don't know. I mean, her days are so much. She didn't even leave the house today, real talk. Like... I, and not that I think that she should be leaving the house because I don't think Becky should be driving. Something not right. Dude, I don't even know what to say. There literally nothing happened in this video. I wish she would stop being concerned with people being obsessed with her weight when she, all she does is talk about it and then show us what she's eating and not eating and stuff. So it's like, it's hard for people to not speculate. People would stop speculating if you stopped giving them reasons to speculate. Yeah, I don't know. That's all I got to say about that. It was Vlogmas Day 7. It wasn't that much. There wasn't that much there. Um, remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.